Ever wondered what all those symbols on your car dashboard mean? Today, we will decode these symbols together. Imagine your car as a pet. It can't speak, but it communicates with you using signs and symbols. And just like understanding your pet's behavior is crucial to keep them healthy, comprehending your car's dashboard symbols is key to keeping it running smoothly. Let's delve into the mystery of these symbols. You see, your car's dashboard isn't just about fuel levels and speed, it's a hub of information, a control center, and a warning system all rolled into one. It's like your car's brain, speaking in a language of colorful pictograms, and it's time we start understanding that language. Now these symbols can be broadly classified into three categories, warnings, information, and control. Warning symbols, as the name suggests, warn you about potential issues that could harm your vehicle's health or compromise your safety. They are like the car's way of saying, hey, I'm not feeling so well, could you check what's wrong? Ignoring these could lead to costly repairs or worse, a breakdown. Information symbols, on the other hand, are your car's way of giving you a status update. They're like, just letting you know I'm doing fine or I'm running a little low on fuel. They keep you informed about various aspects of your car's performance. Finally, control symbols. These are essentially instructions for you, the driver. They let you know when a certain feature or function is activated, like your headlights or windshield wipers. Think of them as the car's way of saying, you've turned on the fog lights, drive safe. Understanding these symbols is like learning a new language. It might seem daunting at first, but with a little patience, you'll soon be fluent in carish. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to embark on a journey into the world of dashboard symbols. Get ready to become a dashboard detective and decipher the language of your car. First off, let's tackle those intimidating warning symbols. Imagine your car as a quirky friend who speaks a different language. It's a language of symbols and lights. And once you get the hang of it, it's really not that cryptic. Let's dive into the Rosetta Stone of car talk. The check engine light, for instance, is basically your car's way of saying, hey, I'm not feeling so hot. It could mean anything from a loose gas cap to a malfunctioning sensor. When it lights up, it's best to get your car checked by a professional, just to be safe. Next up, we have the oil pressure warning. Imagine this as your car's thirst signal. If this lights up, your car is telling you it's parched and needs oil. Don't ignore this one. Running your car without oil is like running a marathon without water not a good idea then there's the battery charge warning if this lights up it doesn't necessarily mean your car is about to die on you it could simply mean that the battery isn't being charged properly maybe due to a faulty alternator or a loose serpentine belt again it's best to consult a professional when this bad boy lights up the brake warning light is your car's way of screaming stop if this illuminates, you need to check your brake fluid level, brake pads, or even your parking brake. It's all about safety with this one, so don't delay in getting it checked out. Lastly, we have the temperature warning. This is your car's way of saying it's running hot. If this lights up, it could mean your coolant levels are low or there's a problem with your radiator. In any case, let your car cool down and then get it checked. So, the next time a warning symbol lights up, you won't need to panic. Instead, you'll know exactly what your car is trying to tell you. Moving on, let's decipher the information symbols. Think of your car's dashboard as its language, a way for your vehicle to communicate with you. Now, let's learn a bit of this language, shall we? First up, the turn signal indicators. These are the little green arrows that flash when you're making a turn. They're essentially your car's way of saying, hey, I'm about to make a move here. It's not only a signal to you, but also to other drivers helping to prevent accidents. So, remember to use them properly. Next, we have the high beam indicator. This blue symbol that looks like a little headlight shines bright when you've got your high beams on. If you're driving in the dark and suddenly everything seems extra illuminated, this symbol is your car's way of telling you why. However, remember to switch back to low beams when you see oncoming traffic. We wouldn't want to blind anyone now, would we? Then there's the seatbelt reminder. This red symbol, usually accompanied by a rather persistent beeping sound, is your car's way of reminding you to buckle up for safety. It's like your car's caring nudge saying, safety first, pal. These information symbols are not just for decoration. They are there to enhance your driving experience. They provide important information that can help you drive safer and smarter. And let's not forget about the temperature gauge, the fuel indicator, the oil pressure light, and many others. 
Each one of these symbols is a different word in your car's language, a different message it's trying to get across. So the next time you buckle up and start your car, take a moment to look at your dashboard. Pay attention to what it's trying to tell you. It's not just a bunch of lights and symbols, it's a conversation. Remember, these symbols are your car's way of communicating with you. The more you understand them, the better you can respond. Now, let's get to the fun part, the control symbols. These are the little icons that light up your dashboard like a miniature city skyline, each with its own special message. First off, we have the headlight indicator. This little guy is your car's way of saying, hey, I can see clearly now. It lights up when your headlights are on, keeping you and other drivers safe by illuminating the road ahead. To turn your headlights on or off, you'll typically find a switch or dial located on one side of your steering wheel. Next up is the fog light indicator. This symbol is like your car's superhero emblem, ready to cut through the murkiest conditions. When you activate your fog lights, this symbol will glow to let you know they're hard at work. You usually activate these by pressing a button or turning a dial, often found near the headlight controls. Remember though, fog lights are like superpowers. They should only be used when necessary. Now, meet the cruise control symbol. This is your car's way of offering to take the wheel, allowing you to maintain a steady speed without constant pedal pressing. It's like having a personal butler for your foot. To activate cruise control, you'll typically press a button on your steering wheel then set your desired speed. Once set, your car will maintain this speed until you hit the brakes or switch off cruise control. It's a wonderful tool for long road trips or highway cruising, but remember, it's not for use in heavy traffic or on winding roads. These are just a few of the many symbols you'll encounter on your dashboard. Each one has a purpose and understanding them can make your driving experience safer and more enjoyable. Mastering these controls will not only give you a smoother ride, but also make you a more confident driver. It's like learning a new language. Once you understand it, you'll wonder how you ever got by without it. So buckle up, turn the key, and let's hit the road with confidence. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's quickly recap. We started our journey by unraveling the mysteries of the car dashboard, those cryptic symbols that were once as elusive as hieroglyphics. We learned that these symbols aren't just decorative touches, they're a language, a unique dialect your car uses to communicate its needs and status to you. Among these symbols, we discovered three major categories, warning symbols, information symbols, and control symbols. Remember, the warning symbols are your car's way of raising a red flag. They alert you to potential issues like low oil pressure, engine temperature, or a problem with the brakes. It's your car's equivalent of shouting, hey, something's not quite right here. Then we have the information symbols, your car's subtle way of whispering important details into your ear. These symbols provide you with valuable information about your car's status and performance. They tell you if your high beams are on, if you're running low on fuel, or if your cruise control is activated. They're like your car's personal assistant, always at the ready with the information you need. Lastly, we delved into the world of control symbols. These are your interactive gauges and buttons that let you command your vehicle, like turning on the windshield wipers, adjusting the headlights, or activating the hazard lights. They're your car's way of saying, you're in charge, tell me what to do. Understanding these symbols is crucial for safe and efficient driving. They're not just there to add a futuristic look to your dashboard, they serve a purpose. They're your car's main line of communication, its way of guiding you, warning you, and informing you. Now, with your newfound knowledge, you're ready to take on the road with confidence. Remember, your car speaks to you through its dashboard. Listen to it, understand it, and drive safe.